guys, Nephi here with another tutorial. Today I wanted to do uh, something with web development. So I've got this website here called uh, electricphoton.com that I manage. And it looks like there's a new WordPress update out. So a lot of people out there use WordPress to manage their websites. So I figured this might come in handy for some of you. This WordPress instance is hosted on Amazon's AWS. So let me show you how to update your WordPress install if you're using Amazon's AMI Linux distro on an EC2 instance on Amazon AWS. So you go over here and click on update now and then click over here on update now again. And then if you have certain permissions set on your uh, WordPress folder or directory on the server then you'll have to use your FTP username and password if you use Amazon's AWS you may not have an FTP username and password if you use other hosting providers they may give you a username and password so just put it in here and proceed and you'll update just fine However, if you're using Amazon EC2 and you don't have an FTP username and password and you don't want to create an FTP username and password, then you will need to SSH into your server. So here I can SSH into the server. So here I'm using an EC2 instance as you can see on Amazon's Linux AMI uh, operating system. So first off, if you haven't logged into your server for a long time, you may want to update it. So as you can see here, run sudo yum update. And uh, let your server update all the packages to the latest versions. Now the next thing you need to do is change the ownership on the WordPress install directory as mentioned before. So to do that, you would type in the following sudo chone, which is change owner r apache. And so we're changing the ownership to be the apache server for this directory. And then do apache again and then type in the path, which is typically going to be root var www.html. And then press enter. That will change the ownership of this directory here. And now if we refresh to this page here, you might have to log back into your admin console on your WordPress install and then go back and update again. And now as you can see, you weren't prompted for the FTP username and password. It just did everything. And now your WordPress install is up to date on 4.73 and you didn't have to create an FTP username and password. And you also didn't have to open up port 21 to use an FTP username and password. Instead, you change the ownership to uh, be Apache. So Apache manages this whole thing. So now at this point, you don't need an FTP username and password ever to update your WordPress install. Instead, it'll just do it automatically. So that is basically it for this video. If you guys found it helpful or informative, please remember to like, comment, favorite, or share this video. Consider subscribing as well if you enjoy these types of videos. And as always, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.